Okay, welcome to Back to the Future Episode 3, Citizen Brown. This son of a bitch is always loud. Whatever, I, I don't know why I keep getting this goddamn stupid fucking... Starring Telltale Games and Ultra Assassin. Thursday, May 15th, 1986. Run her over! Back to the future. The game. Episode 3. Citizen Brown. Uh, written de and designed by me, uh, our director, me, uh, lead animator, me, uh, lead choreographer, Dr. Phil, lead programmer, Randy Orton, directed by uh, me and Marty. And the rest of the guys I don't give a crap about. Marty is currently Stop. stuck. Relax! We've got everything under control. Escape from the crash time machine. Delinquent rocker check. Uh, you gonna need some help trying to getting someone's attention. Let's go across the street. Okay, try using the horn and or rolling down the window. Okay, here is my little issue with this. Regardless, if I roll down the window or honk my horn or anything, what they just showed me. She's clearly facing this way, with her eyes closed, if she... Yeah. If I honk, she won't hear me, because the headphones. She won't see me open the window, because she's facing this way. So... There is literally absolutely no point to doing that. But I have to, because the... Bitch, stupid game requires me to, and I lost half of my inventory. <laughs> it's jammed. Okay, you can't roll the window. Really? What the hell? Hey, could you give me a Jennifer? That's how they met, apparently, according to Telltale. Uh. Come on, I won't budge. So rolling the window down is a highly unlikely option. That's all. Oh. Uh. Wow! Drive-through window. This is the dumbest design ever. What am I supposed to do? What the H do you want? Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? No. Maybe. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? I was drunk driving. That's exactly what I was thinking. 
So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. I'm Boss Hog, uh, bitch. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Godly. Yeah. Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real. I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not gonna explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. Got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron? I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh, my oh. God. Jennifer, please! This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> I wouldn't date this bum in, like, my life. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Yeah, whatever. By the way, why in the hell did he get this photo? Never, never... I don't know, he just pulled it out of either out of his ass or from somewhere from the car, whatever. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. She can hear that from there? Wow, this is all too perfect. Uh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Whatever! Oh, great, now what? Oops. That is highly unlike- Oh. Not no. That's unlikely. I'm not gonna. S <laughs> Jesus. This is some severely messed up bullshit. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Give her a super kick while you're Jennifer, in it. Wait. I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never get such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? 
Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! to be you! Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax! We've got everything under control. Uh... Okay. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? I don't know. Who cares? Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Okay, uh, reveal time. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Oh, it's easy. 12 volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. All right. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. That's kind of cool. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Haha, <laughs> he has to get back to the other side again. It's just like, walk, walk. Ah. That must okay, have been a Marty. long walk. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. Um... At some point in one of these episodes, am I gonna be, uh, helping McFly getting, you know... Hooked up with what's her face at that prom dance. Like, I feel like that's pretty much likely to happen. But I know where this part's at, it's pretty cool. Why are they driving golf carts? So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you too, citizen. What in the hell? What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Is this where we going in that building? Hey, watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. My, uh, Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID, in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? 
polo shirt. I'm gonna do a heist. Citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. I'm on a Nothing. heist. Bitch. What's your deal today, McFly? I said it three times or so. I'm gonna do a f***ing heist. And there is nothing you could do to stop me. Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right, working at the courthouse. Oh, he'll let me out. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat, contraband. Contraband? You know, booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. But bubblegum, bitch, right? Don't make me pat you down. You're not gonna like when I pat you down. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, ma'am. That's right, citizen. I swear to God, he sounds like that. He sounds like the old man from The Walking Dead. A little beetle. Am I a Kenya, the billboard on the Oscars. Yeah, alright, whatever. <sighs> no. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? Can we skip it this? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. Right. Hill Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Yes. No, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That boy sounds familiar. There he is. The bit. Oh, what? Biff? Doc? How do you see Doc from that angle? From that far? Doc, wait! I need to talk to you! Go in! Dude, this episode's already. Ah, uh, goofy. Biff? Hey, well, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc. Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? 
He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. Huh. Real butthead. You a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the party, and the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen plus or bust. So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. <laughs> How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. What? Do you think I could get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? Yeah, I guess, but why would you want to act like that? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley's Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time. But I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? Some kind of brainwashing? Well, that's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. It's voluntary, right? Well, sure, for the pilot program. But eventually, it will be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. Now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Oh, on second thought, blah. That's kind of grody. Let's go, you little... Bitch. Used to be a real bruiser. But that's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wow. Don't torment me. It's pretty gross. Should, uh, clean that shit up, bro. I can get used to this. No, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right. If it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Uh, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone is wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. Huh. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right. If it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus... This sounds like Google Plus, and this is boss. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna probably have to listen to all three of these. So Later, Jesus, that was gay. Bye, Martin. Bitch. She's Jen up to now. 
She was fine before, but now she's not. She's doing a drug deal. What do you expect? That's what everyone pretty much just about does. If you really talk to Jennifer and her ally, it will help you meet and talk to as many people as you can to discover who your allies are. Uh, yeah, I understand. I don't know. I have a habit now of just revealing all hints. Well, I would like to kind of just... Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, Bay, and let me catch some Z's. Yeah, I can still bash on the glass. <laughs> and just place, or uh, like, do some, like, annoying sounds. Okay, peek around the corner, and then even worse, ammo box. I'm gonna scare the pants off you. Must be where Jen keeps her paints locked. Jennifer, Jen. You got a problem? Sure. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. <laughs> that's a funny... <sighs> Google Minus. Ah, oh, not Google Plus, son of a bitch. Uh, oh my god, that was so hilarious, I know. Whatever. What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Oh my god. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, no. Barf! Are you serious? I'm better off with a dog. <laughs> You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, yeah, we are. a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? She admits it! More interesting things. And guys. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Oh. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't raid anymore. Jesus Christ. What the hell is that supposed to mean? There should be an option for what the f is that supposed to mean? Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. So, Jennifer. Uh huh. What do you think of me? I don't. You're a little cute, but I don't think of you. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. Well... You fit the bill! You're part of it! Oh, I got you! It's a bitch! Uh, okay, now we can continue on with that. Right. Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Well, I didn't really want him anyway, so... Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. 
Third person. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? Uh... Yarp! Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Yes. Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? God, yes, Ghostbuster! Let's go stage a public kissing. Let's not, and say we did. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Oh, she got me. Oh my god. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah. He walks so goofy. Look out, son! Mom? Why in the hell? She just left. Martin! Oh, hey, hey Mom. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Oh. Actually, I... I know, uh... I know, dear. Love you too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Take the family car for a drive. Does that mean I'm driving or the game's driving for me? I don't know, John. Isn't this... Illegal? What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? Shh. What if Citizen Brown's watching? Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. Ah! 
dead. Try to warn your old man the next time, okay? <laughs> um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Oh, I thought I was saying it twice. Like, what are you looking for and who are you looking for? I thought I was saying twice. You're spying on people? Why? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh! I don't know for sure that your mother has relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately. Almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially? I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? Uh, That's a good boy. No. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. But... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Look, someone clearly has to have the balls to go up to the dock. So, I'm going to do it. It's about me. I'm all ears. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why okay. my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? 
a nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. Okay, different subject. Yeah? So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. Okay, different subject. Yeah? It's about Mom. Thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scoff law should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service, and maybe let me shake his hand. Hmm. Something on your mind? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your Mathemagic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. So, uh, when is this dust my problem gonna be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kinda backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh, where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. Hill Valley has... a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. 
But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. But I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. I'm good. If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Aha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. Oh, yeah. Merit? Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. Oh, so I gotta leave. In Hill Valley. Having fun, kid? Nah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Did he just throw it on the ground? Well, after it reached parts of the statue, swing the mobile around until you're blocking the camera. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're uh, we're fine. Uh, we're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? He didn't reply. What did? Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Skip. Tannen. And I can do this all day, kid. So can I. Ha. <laughs> Is it just me, or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. Biff told me that he got in trouble for public displays of affection. Can you believe it? Sure, things got a little out of control back in the 60s with the free love and all, but now even holding hands will get you a verbal warning. Wait, so you can't even Jesus. kiss? Can't even hug. It's barbaric. City Hall treats us like a bunch of children going to the movies. Then why does everyone, like, want to stay here? Uh, Mom, are you, a uh, drinking again? Don't be silly, dear. Booze is illegal, you know. Yeah, Mom, it's just that Dad mentioned... Your father. Why, I just can't get away from his prying eyes. Always spying, always watching. You, you mind your own business, George. Now, Lorraine, this is for your own good. I know you're keeping a secret from me. It's mine to keep. <laughs> Dad! Mom! Knock it off, you two! Now, you listen here, young man. This is an adult matter between your mother and me. Dad, I know, but your way isn't working. You gotta give her some space here. Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! What is that in your hand? Rum? Gin? A wine cooler? For your information, it's brass cleaner. I have a job to do here, you know. 
Lorraine. No. Lorraine, I'm just trying to look out for you. You know the kind of trouble we can get into if you're drinking again. George, I wouldn't be so on edge if- Still the same book. If you weren't suffocating me all the time. Was that an admission? An admission of- Please work. I did it. Uh, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. Finally. Um, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin. Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard, what with your brother and sister leaving, and then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> okay... Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> Stop bitching, you're gonna get everyone oh, after us. Sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. Yeah, okay. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. All right. Hey, bitch. Guess what I get to show you? I'm hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Uh. Why don't you open it and find out? It's a uh, get smart with me. Specially made. For me. Uh, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? This Citizen bitch McFly, man, came strolling up with a 181 speed violation juice. in his pocket. Ugh. I know. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere? I made it for myself. with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Uh. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Oh, I would love that. Intervention, Bronze Strawberry. Okay, okay. Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup is just. Oh, Jesus. It's you. This better be important, McFly. Leech, was that Jennifer? Well, A, it's none of your business, and B, seeing as she ain't your chick no more? Yeah. Okay, now this timeline is really pissing me off. You and Jennifer? Really? Oh, is the poor little nerd jealous? Uh, no, I don't yeah, give a shit. and a little disgusted. That's probably the soup. You better treat Jen with respect, Leech. Hey, I got nothing but respect for Jennifer. Respect for her eyes, for her hips, the way she wriggles when she... Hey! Now, that dork that let her get away, there's a loser that I got no respect for. You got a cold or something? Ugh. It's allergies. I swear, there's a dog hanging out around here somewhere. A dog? Yeah. And the stupid mutt keeps trying to steal my free samples. Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. Throw up in... I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. 
What are those things? Those are the liver and peas with soy cheese hot dogs. Ew. You and me both, brown noser. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a D.O.G. running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh, mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little S.O.B. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. Sure there's a dog around here? Listen, smart boy, there's only two things I'm allergic to. Dogs and disco, and I don't hear no chicka bow wow, do you? No. Then it's a dog. That's kinda stupid, huh? <laughs> See ya. Smell you later. Hey! Hey! There's that mangy! <laughs> Go get him, McFly! <laughs> Gotta be hiding in here somewhere. Oh crap! I'm gonna t I'm gonna try and guess without uh, screwing this up, but I'm probably gonna get it wrong regardless. Stay put now, boy. Wherever you are, not a sign of him. That's a bunch of crap. Really? Oh my god. This is really freaking goofy. That was kind of a fail, but okay. Greg, I do this like eight thousand more times. Where could he be hiding? Okay, whatever. You in there, Riney, or whatever your name is these days? Oh my God! Not a sign of him. If only the dog had left tracks, you wouldn't be able to guess where the. Just jack your shit, bro. It would look better blue. Now we're in business. Outsmarted you, didn't I? Ah, oh, don't be like that, Einie. Einstein, is that your name in this timeline too? Huh, guess not. Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. At a boy, now hold still. See. I'm not such a bad guy, right? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Forget her, man. Huh? What is it, boy? <laughs> Einstein, wait! No! Help! No. Oh, rabies! Rabies, help! Back! Uh, down! Shit! Play dead! Officer Parker! Sir 
do that beast at once! Einstein, sit! Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. You what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of Statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beasts. Don't worry, Bitch. Mike. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. Just take me there. Jesus, don't be afraid. All dogs go to Uda. Okay. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Oh. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because a certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. I yeah. know. I kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further... Oh. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, here you he got hit with some more demerits, Nathan. Good on ya, I say. Sure. Never trust the guy. Oh boy, this is gonna be a piece of shite. This is gonna be interesting in hell. I'm glitching still. All right, here we go. Check this out. What? You swiped your big brother's guitar? Is that supposed to impress me? It's not my brother's. It's mine. Yeah, sure. And you'd play it for me. Only you don't have an amp. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pathetic. What is it now? Leech is a wasteoid. Come on, Jen. It's you and me. Dream on, McFly. We might have had a thing for about ten minutes, but you're not even in the same league as Leech. So how do I challenge him? You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm going to be honest, the ukulele has to go. I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. Oh! To get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? <laughs> I'd give you two and a half. But first you got to prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. This is gonna be so good. Just watch how I have knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly. What's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The ring of rock? Either I'm gonna have to watch Don't touch him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. Either I'm gonna have to watch this happen, or I'm actually gonna be able to do this mini game. Scissor kick, what the fuck?
This is so freaking. Wow. Dude, this is the most retarded thing ever. What the hell? <laughs> you cut my cord, you asshole. Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your prize, champ. Mm. Oh, well, sucks to be you. Let's get out of here. Well, back to work. See you, loser. Don't worry I can't about believe you let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in Rock and Roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. Do I, I really have to, like, do that again, don't I? Yeah, I gotta re-challenge him again. God damn it. I want a rematch. Ooh, you got nerves, McFly. You really want to be humiliated like that again? It's nothing but a poser. I got the technique. Do you now? Want a sample? Maybe. If you can beat Leech. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying in the gutter? I was, but then your mom threw me out. Oh! <laughs> Try not to leave any scars, baby. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good, actually. I gotta give it to him. Some good credit. Okay, hold on. Let me see what else here. That's clearly not gonna work at all. I don't know what the hell that's gonna do. Like, this is really messed up. Scissor kick floor. I should give up. No. All right, there you go. <laughs> this is so bloody goofy. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> oh, that was cool. Martin McFly. That was, that was, that was totally awesome! <laughs> what can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. <laughs> what a noob. You broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What the f- What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh my god. Punch her in the f <laughs> punch her in the boob. Oh, <laughs> this is so donkulous and messed up. And sure, you could do this forever, but you have any more? P uh, but you have more pressing business than getting. Oh, Jesus, with that shop window closed, nobody can see you two making out. Oh yeah, we're not supposed to. Yeah, do you turn the volume down to protect your unspoiled ears? <laughs> Hmm. <gasps> Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number- Jennifer! Daddy! 
476D. Open mouths? Tons of hockey. Tongues. You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. McFly! Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great. Cause I gotta go. Jeez, this Martin, so what's gotten up. into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? What? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it <laughs> young Mr. McFly? Is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character cool? I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. Jesus. I have like multiple I things to say right now. The two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Okay. So who the hell would want to stay in this city if it's so retarded, stupid, and you can't kiss, hug, or you know, be like hand touching, handshake friendly, or piss ball scratch all chalk bleh. Like, who the hell would want to be here and stay here and live here and everything? It's so retarded and ridiculous. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of the Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full-ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Portman Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is... What happened to you? You gotta believe me, Doc. I only did it to get your attention. Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. This! What you've turned into, it's all wrong. You're supposed to be a scientist, an inventor. You created the flux capacitor, and, and we went on all these crazy adventures in time, and your hair, you don't look good, Doc. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. Sure. You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No. Wait. Tell me, Mark. <laughs> is your mother on the sauce again? Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. 
Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. Leave my dad out of it, okay? Let's focus on you and your time machine. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? <laughs> well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. No! I... I mean, yes. What I mean is it's messed up a what? lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Harry Callahan. Incredible. <laughs> this is this case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> I, I guess maybe I sound crazy, but you gotta believe me. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh. Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your, ma your memory. There's some stuff in the office that was surely help convince this and Brown that you're telling the truth. Some of the links in the middle of to the past might not be obvious, but they are sure around Susan and Brown's desk. I spent with my little eye young, I mean, it's a little father fish tank. Uh, mugshot, okay, fine. And this is really hard to do right now. No. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it could have been the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Man, I'm gonna be at this for years and years and years. You still got the movie ticket! Indeed I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical, not to mention historically inaccurate. My darling wife is all the scientific muse I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting-edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. Oh boy! Something about that clock looks familiar. It was the building. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think. The whole town is under surveillance. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? I... uh... 
bizarre fantasy life. <laughs> you see. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. Young Emmett and his father. A fish tank from the past movie took it. A mugshot. Okay. Oh, in my case file. So I gotta get Young Emmett and his father. Okay, hold on. Wow, I got a lot of demerits. Demerits, sorry. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes. June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? Never worked. Failed a misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. Come on, stop dark. trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitanin. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What do you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? That I was the hero in that day, you fat... What the hell? What the hell? Wow. Glitch much? I better not. This could be the only printing left in existence. Okay, how about you? Oh. It's gonna be so annoying. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me. And you. The other you. It is me. And you. What? How? Because I'm right. Hey. It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world. Oh my God! Here we go. Where do you say you come from? <laughs> am I? Am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons. Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna. Not even remotely. And your invention, jeez. Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. You want to keep your voices down, ish. Hill, Hill Valley. You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Round to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. So much for that. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. Come on, you bastard. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Horribly. Fine, but I'll be back. With proof. Old hag, bugger, crapper, snapper balls stipper 
I thought he was gonna pop up out of uh, amnesia for a second there. It's not gonna be that easy Doc though. Wants proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. It's Biff. George is delirious. You gotta find some things that will help him bring him back to reality. George doesn't believe a word you said. Look around George's evidence of assaults. Jennifer. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? I'm uh, smacking you around. Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? You're not that nice. What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Nope, you're screwed. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. That was easy. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Who's been making trouble for you since, like, forever? Biff! Biff? Ever since the Browns took an interest in him back in the 50s, he hasn't caused me a lick of trouble. Besides, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, he's as gentle as a kitten these days. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's get out there and start shaking people down. We can make them talk. And before you know it, the authorities would get involved and we'd both be in trouble. No thanks. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months? What? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office. Just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Hey, it's just one last thing you have to convince before. Oh, yeah, right. Read him and weep. Demerits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. 
I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes, to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours, maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. You force out the business and find the correct feed. Each of the monitors has a channel. doesn't look right. That it? You're looking for the one that's trained on us. Yeah, yeah, uh, well then I'm here. What the hell? I just had it. Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course! Surveillance is what I do! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. Okay, what am I supposed to do here now? The monitor's dead. Oh my god. There we go. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff. I knew it. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a kitten. Huh? huh? Wow. I can't understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never. Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. That's really I messed knew this up. This human enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. What the you hell? You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. Pull yourself together. That's right. Did you you two sort things said? out. I've together? got some business to you attend to. I'm, not together? I'm more together than I've been in months, George. For your information, I haven't had a drink all day. I think I got it! He's gonna deny it because apparently he got the wrong foot. Uh, something is like. Biff! Whoa, whoa, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. 
Do we have a problem here, citizens? Oh, no, 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 officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out. Right, Mark? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. Oh, 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 oh. What? Hey. Uh. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was, uh, I was... What? That's strange. I don't remember. Huh. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished feeding some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah, she wanted to run a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? Yeah, I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Dude, weird. I I've never seen it look like that. Tech, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Attention, citizens. After receiving petitions to increase the selection... Wait, what? Cool. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make him go nuts. <laughs> Wait, what? I've got a few more questions, Biff. All right, Martin. That doesn't make any sense. Biff, your watch. Biff? Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? I guess it's obviously making him kind of go. Could you uh touch your toes? Uh... Hmm. Where's my dad's tape? Uh... The decycling bin? Did you attack my dad? Uh, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, I gotta like change him back. Do the chicken dance. <laughs> hey, he's hypnotized, all right. <laughs> oh my god, that's some funny shit. Why'd you attack my dad? Uh. <laughs> you must have been hypnotized. Who put you up to this? <laughs> Guess that'll have to wait until after I get the tape. Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Uh. Hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, uh, Is that McFly <laughs> kid bothering you? <laughs> uh. hey, you can't go in there. <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Uh oh, well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, geez, I'm in a lot of trouble now. Was I supposed to do don't that? Move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Oh, I'll come with you. Oh, I'm supposed to go after Biff. Okay, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Give a lack of horrified screams. It's probably safe to jump into the bed. 
I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, That's what everybody says. Gosh, ma'am, did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really, I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch, and then I'm down here and you're yelling at me! Oh, okay, so it's not him. McFly. Strickland. Go high, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. <laughs> Stop. Oh, okay, it's the mode of doing that. No. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Wait, what? Are you s Wow. Um. That is. Wow. I would. That would be the last thing on my mind this game would have. Look at all the awesome stuff. It's enough to short circuit anyone's boring. Whatever. You've got a pressure BS programmer. Oh boy. So it looks like I'm literally gonna have to select porn. It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly. Come on, Biff, step out of it. Change his, uh, change his watch. Come on, Biff. Snap out of it. Ah! No, no, no. Change... It's his watch. Change his watch. Uh... <laughs> Show him the picture. <laughs> Take out my guitar and play it. Biff, look! Girly mags! Boobies. Uh. Tannin, focus. Uh. Oof. I should have known you'd be trouble someday. Your whole look, C candy. No. Biff, knock it off. He really doesn't look that strong, honest to God. Like, look at his scrawny arms. If he was doing that to me, I would I can easily power out of that no problem. It's like I know how to, like oh my god. Hey, look over there. It's beer. Beer. What's going on? Biff Howard Tannen, obey your programming. What a boob. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program. I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. That's pretty so much donkulous. And to think. Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Where am I? Tannen, I didn't go behind my namby pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. This is messed uh, up. Uh, oh. Frickin' programmed. Really? Hey, it's Wild Gunman. Not a fan of video games, huh? Einstein? <laughs> uh, doggy? Tannen, listen to me. Uh, <laughs> babes. Uh, booze. What the hell? Uh, wow, this is really bad. <laughs> what the hell? What the? Uh, He's gonna freak out. Oh, uh, mommy! 
Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Ba -ba. Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett, what are you doing here? Finally! I came down here to investigate a He's troubling doing his report job. involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone oh, to stay off the boy. grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. Oh, oh, oh Edna. Fine. Get screwed off. Uh, sucks to be you, bitch. Don't worry. You finally grew the balls that you never had. Ah! Why was there an echo in there? Father, what have I done? He finally came back. Like, he realizes what's going wrong? Alright. I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. O okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. So he's back. We're gonna get back to... Maybe, uh... but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone can be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. <coughs> That's the loading logo. They're all bathroom signs. Don't worry about it. Jesus. Either he messes up or he figures something out when he says that. Martin, this, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? 
We've got a time machine to fix. This is really <laughs> weird. This is weird and uh Yeah, I'm going to really give my opinion later on in this. <laughs> Don't worry, Biff. Once I get back to 1931, you'll be back to Jerkville in no time. Wait, it's... it's I can't open that. Well, Frank, well, there's Frame Frankenstein, but you want to take some time to explore? Speaker easy? Okay. It's telling me to f around and do whatever the hell I please. There is a serious lack of privacy in this town. Ha, <laughs> no. Duh. Whoa. In another timeline, all these pinball parts would probably be in Libya by now. <laughs> I wonder how many times Biff's parked under manure in this timeline. Wild gunman. <laughs> nice to see that some things haven't changed in this messed up world. Beer. Maybe I could. Mm, nah. Doc'll need me clear headed to build his new time machine. Yeah, I'm not a beer drinker guy. X ray specs, joy buzzers, trick gum. Classic. Why would anyone ban these? Anyway, whatever. I'm done pissing around. Because this episode is pretty much done. Wow. It still works. You should have left that down. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einy? McFly! Uh. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? Do I so like... you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Except hey, for I'm me. I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Huh. Now I gotta avoid this bastard? Are you serious? Is that supposed to scare me or something? Down, Biff. I'd stay. <laughs> All right. McFly. Oh, crap. I'm. This All is... right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. Okay, first of all. Why is he even coming at me with, like, the stupidest way to attack of a grapple? Like, he doesn't even grab me. He's just swinging his arms together so I can, like, dodge them very easily. I hope I don't run out of rock. Get him, Einy! What in the hell? I need sick him. Oh, place your bets. What the? F oh. Let's get out of here, Einy. That was weird. Huh. Opens his eyes at the last God. second. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. It's not him. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Oh. Doc, my husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. 
We've got everything under control. Doc! No! Doc! I don't get it. I gotta rescue him again or something. To be continued. Never. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. And uh, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Oh my it's god. It's embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. Alright. I'll be pitching and ranting more in episode 4, Double Visions.